Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and today is day nine on this walk-in cooler build. I made a playlist of all the videos I did of this build. I will leave a link to that playlist down in the show notes of this video. The insulation is all done, and now we are wrapping the inside, and we have to do the outside, of three-quarter inch plywood. All right, the inside plywood is done. As you can see, okay, we have the seams here. What I'm going to do here is add some molding, such as like this corner molding. It's, on this edge, it's a little bit big of a gap here. I'm gonna use spray foam to insulate the inside if it's a big gap, and then mount that up against that corner. Trim, pretty much all the trim is already done. And this trim is just real wood made out of pine. It's already primered, we're gonna paint everything. And I caulked the seams. All right, so this is a cool bot. And then you have a plug and some wire. And so all of this is gonna hook up to this AC unit and turn it in and turn this room into a walk-in cooler. And this is going to drop the temperature down to about 30 degrees. This is the heater cable. And you just plug that in. And this is the fin sensor. And this is the room sensor. All right, this is the AC unit sensor. Take the clip off. And this is the heater sensor and the AC sensor. And it came with this square foil. And you put both of them side by side and then you wrap it with the foil. And here you want to spread open this grill and then you want to install it inside. The power plug. All right, you attach the connector to the AC panel. All right, this has the temperature. So it's 80 degrees in here right now but the cool bot is on and installed. All right, ha I have to adjust the door a little bit. I had to add some two by fours to bring this down. And then I had to take out the two by fours down here. All right, let's install that door. I'm gonna use this sealer to seal around the door. And then I'm gonna use these long screws, mount the door to the wall. a pilot hole first and then I'll move in with the large drill bit.
The door came with these corner pieces. I'm gonna use that to trim up these corners. hang meat we have this meat hook drill in some d-rings and then the meat hook is gonna hang on the d-ring before it encloses I drilled some studs into the ceiling Woo! <laughs> we are done with this walk-in cooler build Look at this door. That's a real walk-in cooler door. The outside is plywood, and we may finish the outside of this at a later date. This measures about eight feet by seven feet. The inner dimensions is about six and a half feet by six and a half feet. And the walls have four and a half inches of insulation with three quarter inch plywood. We caulked, we taped, we painted, we added these like vinyl rubber strips. And this is for containing in the cold air. So when you open the door, all the air wants to just rush out. So this, by having this here, it kind of prevents that from happening. We have a really simple light, uh, still need a light bulb. They're gonna put a rubber mat on the floor. We install these D-rings so they can hang some of their meat that they harvest here on their farm. Now this is a basically a walk-in fridge, not a freezer. I think what makes this room possible and what makes it cool is this cool bot. It converts this regular AC unit into a walk-in fridge. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, that kind of innovation right there is gonna help, helps out small-scale farmers, helps out the homestead, you know? Anybody could build one of these in their home. I base this build off the plans I got from the Coolbot website. I will leave a link down to their website down in the description. All right, if you're gonna build anything like this, uh, I suggest doing your research. Don't take my word for it. I'm not an expert walk-in cooler builder. <laughs> We're just trying to figure all this stuff out and trying to learn how to do something like this. The biggest challenge for me of this build uh, was really not the actual build. It was more of believing that I can actually build a walk-in cooler. <laughs> I know when Justin initially asked me, hey, can you build us a walk-in cooler? My first reaction is yes, I can. But then the next day, the following week, is when I started to second guessing myself and started to think, wait a minute, can I build a walk-in cooler? I don't know, like I was this close of calling Justin. I mean, I, I actually dialed his number and was gonna tell him I cannot build this walk-in cooler. But instead I said, yes, I can do it. Let's do it. If you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Soul the Land, and I'll see you guys next time.